I call my power back to me from every person, place, entity, from every space, portal, time, and dimension. Hi, Pisces. Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share if at any time this reading resonates with you. I've already said my blessing and prayer. If you're interested in knowing what that is, it is in the description box below. There's also a link to my website below. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it here and take a look and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you, Pisces. Uh, when I was shuffling earlier and preparing for this reading, um, I did have an intuitive message. It was almost like I feel like someone's wandering in, this, in their own space. So you might be doing inner work, but there was a longing for something and you couldn't quite, it's almost like somebody couldn't quite figure out what it was. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what that energy is. All right, so you have the Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So there's some type of loss here. There could be a financial loss here, a job loss as well that's showing up, or maybe a deal didn't go through. Something that you created, maybe it didn't go as planned here. Yeah, then you have the Ace of Cups. Somebody may have kind of... Um, how do I say that spirit? It's like, um, like you over projected something, right? And it came in. So, so you took a loss. You thought you were going to get something more than what you got. All right. You have the nine of wands in the past. What's coming right now is a two of cups. Wow. Nice. You have the Six of Wands. You have the Chariot as your energy. So you're about to make a move. You're about to make a really big move. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the King of Swords. Ace of Swords is the outside energy. King of Swords is your lesson or your challenge. And then you have the Four of Pentacles, unable to let go or release something here. So there's a somebody here lost. Like you, you. Somebody here lost somebody. That and you feel like you're never gonna love somebody the same way that you love that person. Okay. That's, I feel probably a very specific message, but it keeps coming through. I'm getting goosebumps as I'm saying that. Um, on the bottom, you have transformation with the page of cups and the hierophant, the five of cups, the fool, the empress. You will love again. Pisces, if that's for you, but there's something here that could be a child or something that's coming towards you that's going to be feeling some type of sadness or it's like a whole new journey. There could be another baby or a pregnancy that's coming. Okay, just be aware of that, but there's an ending that is meant to catapult you into a massive shift into an awakening you're going to be leveling up here and it, it it looks like it might be difficult but you have a big decision to make and you're getting ready to move somewhere clarify this queen of wands and the five of pentacles please yeah the chariot you may need to move. Maybe you don't want to live where you're at anymore. Six of Cups. So there could be children involved or there's some type of uh, soulmate here as well. And then you have Virgo, the Hermit. So do you see what I'm saying? There's there's like all of this, like somebody feels like they lost something. Like the every in, in the direction that you want to go, it is not... The direction for you it's not showing up that way it's like it keeps bringing in some type of halt 
and loss. Somebody keeps looking back at the past too. They're, they're overwhelmed with the past going over and over and over what happened in the past and that's preventing them from getting to their joy. There's a hole in someone's heart here. And I feel like you have to make the decision to heal from that. That's what this transformation is. Clarify, please, this Ace of Cups. You have the Four of Wands, the Moon. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this loss causes so much conflict in your stability. Um whatever this is okay there's something here again judgment in the ten of pentacles some type of awareness is going to be taking place in regards to how you are present or how you invest in certain situations because somebody's coming up short in terms of investment which could be money or energy love okay but there's conflict within a household or within a family and it's it's due to this hidden pain of whatever took place in a love connection here or a love situation. Pisces, that's your energy. There's like deep wounds here that are making other things outside of you unstable. Like your energy is, is vibrating, radiating out and it's creating instability in other situations. All right, you have the nine of wands as a recent past. So... just get this feeling that something got away like you had a lot of wishes and hopes for something to go a certain way and it didn't end up going that way yeah page of cups apologies this gonna work the strength card like you just kept trying at something ace of pentacles here yeah you kept going towards this or waiting for something here with this uh, emperor and empress like rushing towards it there may have been an apology or an opportunity for a new beginning or investment but i feel like with the nine of wands and the strength card i feel like there was just too much hesitation or too much fear it never really got off the ground so something didn't actually take place what's coming towards your energy is the two of cups so there's a connection here the eight of cups temperance you're walking towards your happiness eight of swords okay again you're making a decision to leave and travel towards something what you don't realize in this process pisces is that you're moving towards um a more balanced commitment and or partnership here with the two of cups this is a divine partnership whether it's work or love i do feel like this is love gives me the Ten of Cups with Temperance and the Eight of Swords, there's going to be some type of, this is coming towards you because it's to teach you to break open. I feel like you may be very closed off and not really seeing how you are um, restricting yourself from experiencing expansion and more love in your situations, right? There's something that you're not seeing with this eight of swords that makes you very discontent with life why is the eight of swords here for pisces please what is this eight of swords what's going on with this eight of swords two cards okay yeah how you invest in love you're needing to take different action on manifestation there's there's a different approach here Why is the Six of Wands here? What's this coming in the future? So there's some type of, um, wow. There's a win coming in over heartbreak. Somebody was operating from a space of pride and ego, right? There's, there's betrayal here with the Three of Swords. And the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Look, it's not easy to get to your happiness. It is something that you have to be patient in because I, I really feel like there I'm connecting to somebody who is what makes me happy. How do I find my fulfillment and my happiness? 
the key is stop letting yourself live in the past. What's happened has happened. It's over. It's over. You've got to push forward. I don't know how you get to this point because it's it's different for all of us, but God is working with you because you have judgment and the hanged man. If things start pausing, that's because you're being called to go within. You're going to have some type of awakening or enlightenment here come out of nowhere. And it's going to help you have whatever breakthrough you need because you seem to be heartbroken and very upset and filled with anxiety like i said over the loss of something right this could be with kids it could be with a family past relationship but it's never too late is what i'm seeing why is chariot here for pisces ace of cups Six of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So again, I feel like inside you've already made a decision. You're just waiting for the perfect time to make your move because you, you are seeking to bring more balance into your self-love and your joy and your happiness. But you are the one that has to make that decision. So I don't know if you're getting ready to move towards um, a situation that, that, that you love, if you're getting ready to move towards a new love, but you're not telling a lot of people here with the high priestess. This is just something that's inside of you. Maybe you've received some type of intuitive guidance and message from the most high in which direction you're supposed to go to help create that, that balance. Outside energy is the ace of swords. You have the king of cups. There you are. The seven of cups, which is gives me the eight of cups, okay and the Ace of Wands. Somebody is going to communicate and or express emotions that brings in a little bit of confusion. That does look like there's an opportunity and or an apology. This is something that you've been waiting for. What is the Seven of Cups about? Could be work related or an investment here. Ten of Wands, like, do I wanna do this again? Do I wanna go this route again? Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups with the Sun and the Lovers. So you have you have an opportunity and an offer coming towards you where somebody wants to maybe reinvest. And it looks like they're taking not only communication, but taking some type of action towards you to help get this process moving. Your struggle is the King of Swords. It's communication. Because somebody isn't really being honest with what they're saying here, the Knight of Pentacles. So you've, it's this offer. You 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 want to know what's hidden? What are the hidden motives? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. This King of Swords is your struggle. You don't know if you can trust this person. Whatever this offer is, it comes towards you. So you're struggling with knowing if this is a good investment for you. If you're going to see some type of return or some type of growth, and it but it has to do with whatever you've been through in the past because you're still looking at the past like well i can't make a decision because of what happened in the past you just have to figure out how to maneuver and work it differently right why is this four of pentacles here for the outcome of pisces so there's something here that you're gonna fight for or you're not willing to release or let go of okay well, it's about implementing some type of boundaries. Wow. Ten of Swords. Knight of Cups. Look, with the transformation card, there's definitely an ending and a beginning. For some reason, I don't feel like it's a new situation. I feel like it's an old situation coming back. But you seem to be very apprehensive about this offer that's coming towards you because of what has taken place. There's an element here of feeling betrayed and defeated. But I would be careful with that because I'm also seeing that there's an opportunity coming to you that is true, real, and has great intentions. But because of the pain from the past, 
you are having this tendency to push it away and say no but then that will become a missed opportunity right and that's not that's not what we want um you don't want to have a missed opportunity in a situation that looks to me and what the table is showing that as if it can bring you a lot of happiness all right you have suri enlightenment in our modern world many of us feel obliged to conform to societal pressures through means such as our career choice our outward appearance even our relationship choices some of our choices haven't been in full alignment with our hearts and inevitably they cause upset to some degree society's pressures make it challenging for us to learn about what really makes us happy and external demands can encourage us to neglect the very essence of our being as a result, we can drift away from our truth, our love, our center, and become engrossed in our ego self. Attaining enlightenment means that we need to let go of appearances and societal pressures in order to create greater space within ourselves for more light, wisdom, and love. Enlightenment, in part, is about letting go of all expectation, illusions, and our ego. As we move towards a still point within ourselves, we reach out of our falsities, out of our ego self, out of illusion, and into the peaceful collective consciousness of all that is. We find forgiveness, we find grace. Enlightenment is a journey of gathering and becoming more light. It is the joy of the exploration to find that sweet place free from external pressures and stressors. Pisces, here is the light code that you need to meditate on. And I'm sending you guys much love and I look forward to hearing from you.